Hi, I'm Phil and this is Filling in the Blanks. Today we're going to talk about powering the Starlink Mini using a USB-C adapter along with the 50-foot cable that came with the Starlink. There are a lot of comments out there that say that this is not possible. They say that their experience has been that the Starlink drops out continuously due to voltage drop across the cable. I'm telling you that this is not entirely correct and the true problem is not running your Starlink on USB-C. It's because you're running a different set of adapters than you should be. So let me explain to you how USB-C works and why others are having problems and I don't. First, let's go over what my setup is and how I use my Starlink, just to make sure we're on the same page. I go camping for several days in a row, and in each of those days, I will power my Starlink for 14, 16, maybe even 18 hours in that day. To power my system, I use an EcoFlow Delta II. The power output that I use is USB-C. Why? Because it's DC and it is one of the most efficient methods of delivering power. I then plug in my USB-C adapter from here, I will plug in the 50 foot cable that came with the Starlink. The other end of the cable, I'll plug into the Starlink itself. That is it. I will not have a single power interruption during that time period. So why do people continuously have problems powering the Starlink with USB-C if it's really that simple? Get an adapter, plug it in, away you go. Well, that's because USB-C is not that straightforward. USB-C can deliver power at multiple voltage levels. It starts at five volts, then goes to nine, 12, 15, 20, it even goes higher with the latest versions of USB-C. If we look at the Starlink Mini specifications, it says that we need between 12 volts and 48 volts to operate. Now back to the original question, why are people complaining and saying that you cannot power your Starlink Mini using USB-C across a 50 foot cable because the voltage drop is too much? Well, it's a very easy answer to that. They're only running their USB-C at 12 volts to start with. If you are, if you're only starting with 12 volts at the other end of the cable, yes, you're going to have voltage drop. Yes, it's going to be below 12 volts. That's where you're starting with. And the Starlink Mini, we just said, requires at least 12 volts to run. But now what I've also just said was that USB-C can operate at higher voltages. And that's what we're here to talk about. How do you accomplish that? What do you have to look out for? Because USB-C is not generic across the board. USB-C is not USB-C across the board. There are different variations of it and different power levels. And this is what you need to know to be successful in powering your Starlink with USB-C. Now first, let's get this out of the way. 12 volts, a lot of people are relating to the batteries that they're using to connect to, such as in their RV trailer, they have a 12 volt battery there. And if they're using a 12 volt battery to power USB-C, that means that they must be only getting 12 volts out of their USB-C, right? Wrong. It just means that they're using the wrong equipment. Now let's confuse things a little bit more. When you're shopping for USB-C adapters and cables and such, they're not rated by voltage. They're actually rated by watts. And there's different watt levels. So what do you need to power your Starlink Mini? The 100 watt level for USB-C is what will deliver 20 volts. So again, the requirements for the Starlink Mini is between 12 and 48. So 20 is somewhat in the middle there and it allows for some voltage drop across the lines. So if you have the 100 watt version, that means that you have room to play with. Now there's one level below that, which is the 45 watt level. 45 watts will deliver at 15 volts. Again, gives you a little bit of padding, not a whole lot. If you're looking to go 50 feet, it might be a little bit much for it. And I, I could see running into problems with that. But if you're sitting at 20 volts, not an issue. Now that we understand that you need USB-C at 100 watts, what else do you need? Well, th that was just the adapter that we were talking about. Now you need a power source that is also rated for USB-C at at least 100 watts. So a power source can be a power bank, such as this EcoFlow uh, unit here. There's also the Blue Eddy and Anchor options as well. As long as they have USB-C ports that are minimum 100 watts, in this case, this one is 140. That will work just fine, as long as it's not below. They also make cigarette lighter adapters. This one here I'm gonna show you is actually underrated. This will only produce 12 volts. And it's not because I'm plugging it into a, a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. It's because that's what this is rated for on the USB-C side. There are other models that support higher wattage when it comes to USB-C. There's also AC adapters. This is what you might have for your cell phone where you can plug in and again, have uh, uh, USB-C power. All of these have different ratings as well as you can see just the sheer size difference between them. I'll show you what that means. All right, the first test that we're gonna get out of the way is 
to plug in the USB-C adapter to the 50 foot cable. I'm gonna plug this directly into the EcoFlow. As I mentioned, this is rated so that it can take the 100 watts that the system calls for. I'm gonna put a voltmeter on the other side. So for all of those people that say USB-C is DC and you're only gonna get 12 volts, that's not the case. I'm gonna show you here. We'll plug this in. I will measure power here. And that is saying just over 20 volts. Next test, I'm gonna use this underrated cigarette lighter adapter. I'm gonna plug that into the EcoFlow as well. I'm gonna move the cable over to it and do the same thing. And here, I'm getting 12 volts. I'm using the same adapter, but my point here is that even though the adapter is rated for something higher, this DC converter here, the one that plugs into your cigarette lighter is not. So because it couldn't no negotiate the higher voltage, it's not delivering it. It's only delivering 12 volts. Again, this is not because behind the scenes it's 12 volt, like a 12 volt car adapter plugged into it. You can get higher wattage uh, USB-C adapters that plug into the cigarette lighter. Now we're gonna change this up one more time. We're gonna use the USB-C wall adapter that you might be using to charge your cell phone with. I'm gonna plug that in. Plug in the USB-C to, to it. Let's see what the power is off of this, or the voltage. 8.9 volts. So why is it 8.9 volts? That's because, again, even though it's USB-C, this adapter is rated at an even lower rating than what the cigarette lighter adapter was. Now for my final test, I'm gonna show you a larger USB-C adapter. This one is used to power uh, a MacBook. Again, plug it in, it's all USB-C. We've used USB-C to plug in everything here. Now we'll measure in this case, we're back to just over 20 volts. So why are we sitting at 20 volts between these two? Again, they're simply rated diff differently. So when things negotiate, when this adapter is talking to the power source, it determines what the highest level is that it can provide. In this case, the adapter is probably the lowest ability, which says that I can only put out 100 watts and that's all that it's going to provide. Even though that this power adapter might actually be able to provide more, it will be limited by what that this USB-C adapter because it's the lowest item in the chain. Let's do a bit of a recap. Your Starlink Mini requires between 12 and 48 volts to operate. What that translates to on the USB-C side is 100 watt capable power sources and power adapters. 100 watt capable adapters and power sources will produce 20 volts. Why do you need 20 volts instead of the 12 volt minimum that it requires? Because you do get voltage drop across the line. So you need to be above that 12 volts. Why are people having problems? Because their equipment is only running at 12 volts to start with. If you have a 12 volt power source or your adapters are only rated for the, the lower power ratings that only provide 12 volts, then you're gonna run into problems over 50 feet. Yes, power drop is gonna, uh, voltage drop is gonna kick in and your unit's gonna reboot. It's just a matter of buying the right adapters. So get the right adapter, link to this is gonna be in the description, the exact one that I'm using. Get a power source that's capable of at least 100 watt power delivery for USB-C, or you can get cigarette lighter adapters that support 100 watts or if you want to use the household plugs, again, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can get the higher models like this that do support it and watch out for the ones that don't support it. Hopefully I've been able to demystify powering the Starlink Mini using USB-C and that you now understand that USB-C is not quite so simple and it's quite easy to overlook some of the important details that will cause you problems in the future. So if you like content like this, please like and subscribe and have a great day.